I'm Jean Lima, I've come from Lisbon, Portugal. I've um, been in London since August 2011. Um, back home I was studying at the Escola Secundaria de Camões and then moved to London to study at London Metropolitan University where I did journalism for about three years um, and then just been pursuing the career since then, since about 2014 and now I'm working for this company, Data Economy. So actually the decision to leave home dates back to the time when I was 10. So because when I was 10 I told my mom, look, I want to study abroad so I'm going to go abroad when I grow up, when I'm 18 to actually study. I thought maybe Barcelona, but then in 2008 I came to London um, and then I said, well, I can actually see myself living here because I was the only one not getting lost, apart from my family. So my family got all lost and I didn't. So I was like, okay, probably I can do this. <laughs> and then from 2008 till 11, I just studied a bit more of English and stuff. And then in 11, I moved here. I'm passionate about journalism because the thing is, no day is the same. So every day is completely new. And being a journalist, you just get a smile on and you just carry on <laughs> and try not to be late. <laughs> When I moved to London in um, 2011, um, I couldn't find a job for five months, even though I was already studying. I um, started in McDonald's, then moved to two other outdoor shops where I was working until I finished my studies. But in the meantime, I did a lot of things. I did work experience at the Channel 4 News, I've been to The Guardian. And after I left uni for about six months, I was doing about two days a week work experience at the Daily Mail. We were actually the ones that brought the tea to England. London is a great city because there's so much happening at the same time and there's just so many people. You actually get to see the world just by being in London because you've got 10 million people here. You learn about different cultures, different religions. Um, you get different pictures that I never got in Portugal living there for 18 years. I never got that many five years. I've just seen so much more stuff. So what do I miss the most about Portugal? Possibly the food. It's not even the weather. I don't mind the weather because I like cold weather, uh, which is a possibly weird thing to say, but <laughs> yeah. I think people just have this idea from movies and everything they've been watching since ever. Then London is just like, it's just rain, it's cold, it's this, it's that. It's actually not. It's actually quite sunny. So the plan for the future at the moment is stick with this publication because we have a long-term plan, we have a long-term project that extends up to 2019 um, that I'm still putting together for the next couple of years. Um, so I'm not going to get out of London so soon, only for press trips. But the idea in the long, long run is to live between London and Lisbon. So I don't want to give up off London, but I want to keep my roots back. So yeah, the idea is to be living on both sides of the the coin. <laughs>